This little plastic clip um, holds the part on the car on, but we're missing one of them on the other side. And so I'm going to be using a bolt um, that's just about the right size um, as a replacement um, to fit this back together. This uh, original plastic piece is just about 467 um, thousandths in diameter, and this one is about 487, so just about 20 thousandths difference. And if it didn't really fit, bolts come in so many different sizes, um, we'd, we'd be able to find one um, that that's almost perfect. You do want to take a look at the grade of your bolt before you start trying to modify it, because um, uh, some bolts are harder than others. This is a grade 8. You can tell because there's six ticks. This is a grade five, there's three. You just take the number of these little lines here and add two. So six plus two, we got a grade eight. This is gonna be really hard, probably difficult to drill. Um, this one is softer. Um, it'll be a little bit easier to work with. It's only got three ticks, so it's a grade five. Um, it'll be easier to drill. I don't need um, this deal to be hard for any reason. It's replacing a plastic piece. Um, the grade five will do just fine and it'll be a little bit easier to work with. Uh, so I'll go trim it down to to the length um, and then uh, take a little bit off here so that it fits nicely into the plug. So I just copied the length um, right from here, um, kind of like that. <laughs> um, and I'm also giving it a little bit of extra length just so I can face it. Just a little bit though. A little oil will make it easier on the blade. Pretty good and still got a little bit of room to face it. Another nice thing about bolts is the hexagon fits nicely into the lathe. I'm just going to deburr this side and then flip it around because there's a lot of wobble um, and so I want to first grab onto the threads which isn't a big deal because I'm not using them as threads um, and then get this concentric and then I'll flip it back around like this to do this diameter. So I'll just turn this until we get it round. I don't want a hexagon on there anyway. Someone might accidentally think that this plug is a bolt. Um, so I'll just spin that. So I won't be able to get the diameters to match exactly because if I take this all the way round, it'll already be smaller than that. But just by a little bit, I think it doesn't matter. I'll just take this all the way around. I haven't hit this corner yet, but you can see on the other side, uh, we really round out that off. And that's the same wobble that we're seeing when we flipped it around. Um, and so this will help with that. So we're getting pretty close. You can see this entire half is all circular. This is easy to see because of the green spots. Um, and we don't, we don't have all the way down on this side. This diameter is a little smaller than I wanted it to be. Um, part of that is because of the wobble. The bigger the wobble is, the more you have to, to go down um, but anyway, I want to keep this thickness here. I don't want to take that down yet because I'm going to be grabbing onto that. So I'll do that last, taking this thickness down. I'll flip it around, cut this diameter, and then flip it around again to do but that. But I always like to deburr it before I take it out. Now I shouldn't have wobble when we come back around to this side. Wow, that's a huge difference. Um, it's all, all straight. So the first thing I'll do is set this up for a facing cut, uh, which just means I'm going to bring my tool this way a little bit so that I have more relief on that edge. Um, it is sticking out pretty far. Um, I might get some deflection, but I'll go ahead and cut it because it doesn't need to be anything precise. beautiful finish there um, but we didn't really take that much material off um, so yep that's a good length right there. The tool height's pretty far from center um, and so that left that little nib there. I'll go file it off and of course also deburr that edge. You may have noticed that after doing the facing cut there's a little bit of wobble going on I think it's kind of pushing it around since there's all the leverage out here so I'm just going to reposition it um, in the chuck um, and I think that should take care of it. There we go, it's back straight again. Of course, now I want to get my relief back on the front of my tool um, so that I can turn this down. So I really just scratched the surface of this. You can see barely cut in at all, um, but what I can do now is set my dial down here to zero, and I know that that's 
right on my surface. I can take my measurement and see how far we need to so go. So it was at 87 before and yeah, really didn't change much. Um, and so I still need to take 20 thousandths off, but that's on the diameter. This machine measures in radius and it's always very important to remember which one um, this lathe is. So I actually need to go in 10. If this were aluminum, I'd probably just take it all in the same pass, but being steel, I'm actually gonna go uh, three quarters of the way and then just do the last five on the diameter um, as a finish pass. Actually, I'm not gonna take off the full 20. Uh, I want it to be oversized so that it grips into the rubber underneath um, since it won't have a separate clip. Uh, so I'll st start by taking off five um, and then finish up with another two and a half, um, which should leave five thousandths on the diameter. Actually, I don't want to risk it. I'll just check the fit right now, see how it is. Uh, if we do have to put it back in and take some more off, it'll be a little out of round, but um, it's not a problem. And here we go. Oh yeah, that's a nice fit. That's, oh yeah, the threads are really grabbing in there. Um, and so you can take it out if you need to, um, but it's not gonna rattle out. So I'm glad we didn't take any more off. That's a great fit. Um, and so next we'll move on to this thickness here, which I wanna take down to 160 thousandths, and that'll be the same as this here. Uh, so I'll just put it back in this way, um, and take the material off. This looks like they're gonna take a while. I have another tool here that I think uh, might work better. I'll switch it out. So, now I'll just tighten this down. I still got a little while to go, um, but you can notice a few things right now. The tool height is very wrong, so it's been leaving that behind. Um, also, this tool does wobble a little bit. Uh, but I found if I drag backwards instead of pushing forwards, um, it leaves a much better finish. I do this all the time to try to get the tool height better. Um, put a piece of paper or cardboard under there, um, and then it will kind of rotate this up. That's um, a lot better, you can tell. Might now actually be slightly above, um, but a little bit of a difference here. Um, you know, it's about double that by the time it gets out to the tip. So you don't need you don't need a whole lot. In fact, I think I'm going to crank. Uh, because it's cardboard, I can kind of just crank this down harder um, and, you know, change the tool height like that. That's good. Um, I'll keep going. I still have a few more passes. So I'm about 30 thousandths away from my uh, target dimension. I just need five thousandths more on this face. I'm gonna loosen this up and actually rotate it because there's a pretty big chip that's I think been giving me a bad finish. Um, now I'm on a different part of the tool cutting edge and I think this will give me more of what I want. That pass went much smoother than a lot of the others. So that chip is actually a bigger problem than I thought it was. I'm uncomfortable deburring it this close to the truck jaws. So I'll just Bring it out here and get both of those edges. And that's looking a lot like this one. The last thing I'm gonna do on this um, is just taper it, uh, more like chamfering, I guess, just with a file. So I'm not concerned about having an unstable setup. I'm not putting a lot of tool pressure on it. I think that's pretty good. Right out of a bolt. Um, and that should work as an excellent replacement for our missing plastic piece. Here's our original piece. Snaps right this in. is the custom bolt piece. It looks pretty clean. Um, doesn't look quite as hacky as throwing a, just a bolt in there with the hex gone and everything. That's a nice, nice little plug.